Good morning, everyone. My name is Sergei Flach, and uh, I have the pleasure to open this exciting uh, workshop, international workshop on condensed matter solitons. And I want uh, to show and to, to tell you a bit about the operations of our IBS Center for Theoretical Physics of Complex Systems. So uh, for those who don't know what the Institute for Basic Science uh, roughly is, it's an organization, Korea-wide, which runs uh, currently uh, probably, as it says here, 32 research centers, and, uh, and they are structured into more things like groups. Mm -hmm. And you see uh, here a rough uh, set of numbers which characterize our operations. And in particular, you see here also the, the, the map of South Korea and the, the rough locations of uh, these centers. And one of, uh, actually a number of them are located in uh, Taejong, and in Taejong also there is the headquarter campus of our IBS organization. And we are located right now here in this building. This is where I'm right now connected to you via Zoom. Okay, and uh, this IBS uh, Institute for Basic Science organization was uh, set up into motion more than 10 years ago. Uh, we came a bit later and uh, as of last December last year, this is uh, so to say who we are here in this picture. We have one department on complex condensed matter theory in our center up and running. And buzzwords of our research include topology, many body interactions, disorder, thermalization, glasses, degeneracy, macroscopic degeneracy, dissipative condensates, electronic correlations, non Hermitian photonics, non equilibrium quantum dynamics, and so on. We have currently one departmental team running, four junior research teams, and one IBS young scientist team, and in addition, one distinguished PCS postdoctoral fellow. Uh, so our strategic goals uh, when we started our operations were to do uh, top research and uh, offer training standards, highest training standards for young researchers to lead and successfully compete uh, with uh, friendly institutions in Asia and worldwide and uh, to foster research collaborations across uh, uh, group borderlines in the center with other IBS centers in Korea and of course with other institutions in Korea, Asia and worldwide. And we want to in particular to uh, become a fast track connection for uh, young scientists uh, so that they can be quicker and faster and efficient and more efficiently connected uh, to the network of truly excellent scientists and therefore foster their scientific careers and excellence. And that we uh, do by uh, becoming a meeting hub for scientists worldwide. And uh, this workshop, which uh, right now uh, is happening, is one of uh, the, uh, the elements of this uh, uh, reaching the goal of uh, being a meeting hub. And we, of course, also want to offer world-class research uh, training programs for PhD students. Uh, there are some buzzwords uh, what our research could be good for when it comes to the impact for society, but let me maybe not uh, be too detailed on that here and uh, just tell you a brief history. We started on paper in December 2014, but actually life started in May 2015 when our first uh, scientists arrived to the center. We then uh, set up a junior research team uh, run by Hitchul Park uh, in 2015, in 2016, Ivan Savienko and Ara Go started to run their respective research teams. Ara already left us in the meantime for a, the faculty position. In 2017, Daniel Leikam started the first IBS Young Scientist Fellow team. Uh, feel free to ask me more about that uh, later if you want to know what that means. And uh, we also started our network, our ICTP supported uh, network from Trieste uh, together with the Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics. Uh, in Pohang. And uh, in 2018, we moved into our new uh, campus uh, building where we are right now. And in 2019, another IBS Young Scientist Fellow, Jusar Tingna, joined us. And then uh, in 2020, already in, in hybrid mode, we had our five year review, and uh, which went very well. And since then, uh, we moved on. And in uh, last year, uh, Dario Rosa and Munje Park, who is one of the organizers of this workshop, uh, joined us to start their respective junior research team activities. We had uh, some big conferences like this IBS conference on flat bands last year. And uh, more, uh, moreover, in 2021, Sergei Konyakin joined us as uh, a new IBS Young Scientist Fellow. We had very recently, just last week, an on-site uh, 
scientific advisory board meeting of our center. Um, and uh, we look forward to a few important <clears throat> meetings which we are organizing and running uh, this year. And early next year, uh, we look forward to our eight year uh, IBS review. To give you an idea about the structure, once again, uh, you see we have one department up and running, which uh, the departmental team is run together by myself and uh, my deputy, Alexei Andrianov. And then we have these other junior research teams uh, on light matter interaction, nanostructures, quantum many body interactions and transport, quantum chaos in many body systems, topological and correlated quantum matter. And, uh, opt and the IBS Young Scientist team on optics of quantum fluids and nanomaterials. We have, uh, um, we have administration and IT uh, manager, and we have a very large uh, and very active visitors and workshop program, which you are right now part of. Uh, Jung Man Ryu is running this as the scientific uh, science program coordinator. And we typically we would run four to five workshops annually with about 300 participants. And we also run uh, a very important other vehicle, which is called advanced study groups. We currently have one. I will come to that uh, in a sec. Um, and uh, here you see our team leaders uh, in person. We are currently 37 members, which includes 10 students. And uh, uh, we, this, the, the buzzwords, the strategic research themes, of course, derive uh, from the activities of the, uh, of the individual teams. We have currently something like three or nine publications with quite a number of, you know, like nature physics, uh, nine in nature communications, 32 FISREV letters, uh, some uh, FISREV X and so on. So it looks all, all I think, uh, pretty good. And about one third of our publications are published in physical review journals. And there's more, if you want, you can check our age index currently is uh, 34. Uh, and these are the top cited uh, publications which were produced in our center. How do we do this? We have a lot of white and black boards uh, where we can write all fantastic ideas on. We have about two, thousand uh, cores in our cluster, computing cluster, and we have a GPU cluster, which has about 30,000 uh, cores in it. And uh, I already mentioned we run advanced study groups. Uh, here you see the topics of them. What is that? We want to explore new research directions. We want to foster team research across through intense collaborations, and we want to ignite collaborations with Korean research teams outside IBS. The format is quite flexible. It can be a month when people gather at our place to several months or even repetitions uh, over several years uh, at our center. And we uh, currently, we run here this, this meeting on this advanced study group on deep learning in quantum phase transitions. And as you can see, this uh, entire program was very successful in particular during the pandemics because while other numbers probably uh, drip down, uh, at least temporarily, the uh, activities of the advanced study groups uh, increased. And we will uh, have this uh, year in total five advanced study groups, including a new one on entanglement and dynamics in quantum matter, which will be run starting from September this year. And uh, that's probably it. Uh, I don't want to steal more of your time. We do lots of networking. That's uh, probably uh, evidently. I just want to mention this year also, uh, we are pretty proud of our alumni. So we have a total of six students who graduated from uh, our center, who graduated while being at our center. One of them uh, landed immediately a faculty job uh, uh, in China. In totally, we have uh, uh, four uh, alumni who went from our the center to faculty positions in Korea, three in China, two in India, and one in the US. And uh, we have uh, lots of uh, 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 members who leave for other research associate or postdoc positions, four in Korea, three in Asia, eight in Europe, and two in the US, and four of our members left for the industry. And with that, I think I should stop uh, stealing your time and uh, wish you a very successful meeting. I'm looking forward to all the talks, which seem to be extremely exciting. So thank you very much. <laughs>